Yo, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome to a new video. It's your boy Ego, and today we're back on Pocket Incoming. Honestly, the I'm just gonna call it Pokemon Incoming, because I'm not gonna call it Pocket. But the game is called Pocket Incoming. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe, like the video as well. But um, today we're gonna talk about the Pokemon that you should be re-rolling for. Now, these are the Pokemon that I have so far. It isn't that great. I mean, it, when you get your starter, which is either like... Um, Bulbasaur, uh, Squirtle, or Charmander, you get to evolve them right off the rip um, after you complete the uh, actual tutorial. This is the second stage, obviously, if you guys checked out my last video. Um, you complete the tutorial and stuff like that, which is the first adventure map. Uh, you can, subs you can, wow, well, subscribe. You can, uh, yeah, subscribe. You can summon for new, um, for new Pokemon. So in this case, we have two different banners. We have one banner that has up rates um, for the fire types. You got Growlithe, Magby, Moltres, um, Houndor, and Entei. You got a higher um, likely chance to get one of those, but you need 2,000 gems to do a multi, which is a lot. Yes, I know, but it is cool. It is what it is. You can grind that out. It was. It didn't take me long to get a hundred gems at least. Um, same with this one. This one has a different set of Pokemon. Obviously, it doesn't have the up rates, but it does have the others, the other Pokemon that's not on that banner. So there are many Pokemon to get. So your question that I may, I should answer right now is which Pokemon to you know reroll for? Who do you really want from? Well. If you're summoning from this banner from the get-go because you'll be re-rolling i would say try to go for one of the legendary birds or one of the legendary dogs that's an obvious right but the reason why is because these can literally carry you throughout every like for a good while of the game like my my goal was to get one of the three which i'm still going to go re-rolling for um but one thing to do um, take into consideration is your name. Your name is only usable one time. Meaning, so if you use, for example, me, I used the name Ego when I first downloaded the game. Now that's gone, <laughs> okay? <laughs> that is gone. I cannot rename myself just Ego, all right? And to rename yourself after you've renamed yourself, it costs 50 gems. So just take that into consideration. So when you're re-rolling, once you get the Pokemon that you really want, do not use your name. Unless you've gotten the Pokemon that you actually want. Then you can go change your name to what you really want your name to be. I wish I didn't change my put my name as Ego at the, at the beginning, but you know I did and I can't take the name. Same with Ego YT. Now it's gone because I'm going to re-roll again for a better Pokemon. So that's just something to take into consideration. Um, but yeah, but back on this screen, I would recommend you getting either like one of the stronger Pokemon. I would say go for like Larvitar, Axew, uh, Sandile, Absol. Okay, seriously. Gyarados, obviously. Um, you have a lot of S ranks to choose between, but not all the S ranks are really that good. Obviously, you have the starters. They're great because you can evolve them and they get, me they get mega evolution. Um, you also want to get like, uh, I mean, Scyther would be dope too, cause he got high speed and his physical attack is pretty good. His special attack isn't that great, but his physical attack itself is really good. Magbeast just got speed. You know, you gotta just look through and see what you're really looking for. See, Gyarados is top because he got physical attack at 125. He got high, high HP. His speed is good. And his special defense is great, so he can take hits, you know? Um, let's move over to him. Uh, Articuno, um, more for the defensive, not what you really want, but if you get lucky and pull an Articuno, be happy you got one of the legendary trio. I would say out of the three birds, I would say go for a Zapdos, just because he got good stats. Or you can go for the Moltres because he got good physical and special attack. Moltres just lacks on the speed, whereas you know Zapdos has the speed, but he doesn't have physical attack. So out of the three birds, the best one would be Moltres. That's just in my opinion. You guys are you know 
open to your own opinion but yeah you have also ghastly which can evolve all the way up to gengar and looking at the fact that his speed is decent and his special attack is high but he's a glass cannon just one thing you got to remember but it, it, but you know the thing is this uh his uh his attack thing his his, his secret attack isn't that great because it's just scary face um Flame wheel. Wait, let me see Charmander real quick. Bulbasaur with power whip. Charmander is flamethrower. Yeah, so that's their secret attack. Moltres brings all enemies to the burning sacred flame to attack them while increasing. See, this is AoE too. So I would say Moltres definitely. Zapdos moves between the thunder clouds before striking. Uh, if the target has the electricity track, uh, there is a chance it will be paralyzed. It's, I think this is a single target hit. Uh, wait, striking the, with powerful thunder at enemies in a row? I guess that's AoE too then. Iceberg from the skies attacks the enemy targets in the front row. Okay, so it's just the front row that Articuno attacks. But I think Moltres does AoE like all all the rows. All allies. Wait, what? Attack them while increase their crit rate. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Uh, looking at the other dogs... Um, I mean the other legendaries. You got Raikou who releases the power of thunder and flies to the sky. Uh, deadly claw to enemy targets in the front line. So that's just... What's his stats though? Speed's 115. Special attack's 115. The defense... The special defense is good. Alright. That could be nice. HP is high. Physical attack's high and the speed's high. Hmm. I didn't know he was a physical attacker, huh? And then you got just the, the the defensive dog, which is like the Articuno bird. So, yeah. So, I would say either Moltres, Zapdos, Entei, or Raikou for the for the um, legendaries. Other than that, you got you have a variety to choose from. Um, main thing I would say is very closely check out their stats. Look at their stats. And hope that you get one of the good Pokemon that has decent stats, you know. You can, um, last time I got an Elekid. 95 speed. He, he's pretty meh. But he does evolve. So that's one thing to also take into consideration. Like, Sneasel would be dope. Sneasel would be dope. Um, he got good physical, I mean special defense. Good physical attack. Speeds up uh continuously as single uh but this single target so that's not really gonna work um but yeah it really just depends on you but in my opinion go for the dragons all right uh permanently reduces physical defense if the target is knocked out it will gain a permanent attack and physical attack see this is this is good if the target's knocked out it will gain a permanent increase in physical attack that's good and his physical attack isn't that bad it's 87 but baby but it's a baby pokemon so it th this one would be a good one to go for sandile what is it this move also deals damage to nearby targets and blinds them okay that's kind of decent his stats aren't that good it's 72 physical but it is at the end of the day crocodile crocodile is dope all right um let's see dino Dino releases light beams continuously and deals a total of six tiers of damage to random enemy targets. Wow. Okay. This man's literally blind. He's just shooting beams at everything. But that's not that bad then. His physical attack 65. Yeah, I mean, I'd say I ask you is better though. Let's see what we got here. Physical defense, he's just defensive mon. Um Slego. Eh, Slego's alright. But yeah, guys, just the gist of it, Moltres, Zapdos, or Raikou, Entei, Gyarados. Uh, if you want a really tough Pokemon that does good to attack, go for Ghastly so you can get that Gengar. Uh, Heracross, what is... Ooh, Heracross also. Heracross smashes a single enemy with its horns, falls into the ground, with a chance of making multiple attacks. Oh, with a chance of making multiple attacks? That's, that's not bad. But yeah, that's in my opinion. Everybody else is, eh, it's, it's not, you know. Wow. Absol. Before attacking an enemy in a row, it deals extra damage to targets with disaster effect while adding curse mark on them. Yo! Yo, this man's over here, Orochimaru out here, bro. 130 physical attack, that's pretty high. That's really high. So, yo, Absol might be the top tier. Might be in the top tier. 
So yeah, you got you got a variety. Um, again, Gyarados, Ghastly, Absol, Axew. Um, you can go with um, with the with the starters too, because you know they they also have um, their megas. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Go download this game. It's called Pocket Ma Pocket Incoming. I was gonna say Pocket Monsters. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Get to re-rolling. Also, join my Discord. Let me know um, what Pokemons you guys are re-rolling for. Alright, link is in the description. Peace.